I should obviously say thank you very much to the USAID Trade Hub uh, with the support of Westgrove for inviting us to this meeting. Um, it is important for any agreement of this nature for us to take a moment and pause, reflect on the impact of the agreement in the work and the ecosystem we find ourselves in, uh, because the only way we can maximize potential from it is if we do reflections of this nature. So on behalf of USA Trade Hub and Westgro, I just want to say thank you to you for making the time to travel the distances that you did uh, to come and be part of this very important meeting. This is very much an, uh, an event that has been organized by USAID Trade Hub and its purpose is really for us to learn and to grow and to see how we can maximize potential out of the agreement. Uh, that has been enabled, of course, with generous support from Westgro, uh, which is the Cape Town and Western Cape Tourism Trade and yeah. Investment Agency. And to speak um, on behalf of Westgro is the newly appointed CEO. Please welcome to the podium, Ranal Stander, the CEO of Westgro. It is indeed my privilege uh, to welcome all of you to this unique AGOA regional learning event. And while I was uh, meeting people this morning, I believe that we have nine countries um, from the region in the room. I think this is absolutely spectacular. The next two days are really about partnership. And at Westgrow, we believe that collaboration is the key to success. And that is why we are really, really proud and privileged to be supporting this event. Now, for those of you that do know, not know Westgrow, Westgrow is the trade, tourism, and investment promotion agency for Cape Town and the Western Cape Province. In addition to the, um, the sort of uh, traditional sources of funding, uh, we also work in a space where we convene different stakeholders to try and achieve a certain outcome. So in line with our mandate, um, <clears throat> which obviously is, um, is, is mandated um, in legislation, Westgro works to position the Western Cape as an investment destination of choice, a sought after market globally, and a world-class tourism destination. What is a go and is it only about trade preferences? It's not. It's a much bigger thing than just about preferential market access. It's a platform for engagement, a uh, forum for engagement as I, as I call it here, literally and figuratively, figuratively, because it is really, it has created an, an avenue for African countries and the United States to work together and engage much more closely. But it's also a forum for engagement because the AGO legislation mandates the annual holding of a uh, trade and investment forum. And that has been taking place every year except for one uh, in uh, 2020 uh, as a result of, of COVID. My name is Frank O'Brien. I'm the chief party of the USAID Trade Hub. One of the key takeaways for me is that the amount of the potential of the whole program and the opportunity that it offers to the different countries and the exporters within the different countries is very considerable. And sometimes I think exporters or companies or individuals, because they don't fully understand the opportunity that, that's presented, they are reluctant to engage in this as a, as a way forward. There are still three years remaining in the, under this current programme and a lot of expertise um, through trial and error and through trying the process has been established across the region over the past seven years. So, and so building on that, there's, there's still room for export growth, um, retaining exports, and gaining a footprint within the US market between now and 2025. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Gaurav Vijayvargia. I'm from two Sixero brands based in Lusaka, Zambia. And, um, you know, we've spent two days here in Cape Town, thanks to the USAID, Southern African Trade and Investment Hub. And it's been a phenomenal, uh, incredible experience over the last two days. Overwhelming uh, in terms of the learnings that we've taken on board, having exported our first container to the US last year and learning from various stakeholders in similar positions, there's been an incredible amount that I've learned and taken away to benefit to, to increase our trade to the US and also into the South African market.
My name is Mariela Squanyela. I'm working for the Lesotho National Development Corporation uh, as a trade facilitation and promotion manager. I think the, the model that was adopted by Botswana to implement the Agua response strategy uh, could be a good benchmark for Lesotho. Firstly, um, coordination is at high level where they engaged the, uh, the, the minister and the PSS office. This will uh, ensure that they get the buy-in from the highest ranking uh, offices. Hi, my name is Ivan Swanko. I'm uh, the co-founder of Weave. Uh, Weave is a gentleman's lifestyle brand. We specialize in uh, handmade leather ties, uh, bow ties, pocket squares and suspenders, and other leather uh, accessories. Obviously, it's a small beginnings, but you know all uh, creative actually needs is just a workspace, and this is exactly what it is. And we we've been here for about seven years, and um, as we just showed them, everything's produced here by hand. We make everything we, we do, we make with love. Uh, we absolutely love what we do, and to know that there are teams out there from Westgro that are actually looking after the smaller entrepreneur, it is incredible. And um, thank them for their work, and um, it also just the, the support for entrepreneurs like myself. I think with all the presentations that took place yesterday, um, leveraging and benef benefiting from AGOA, AGOA is uh, more critical now so, such that you know, the renewal is going to be done in less than three years. So I think the time is now to act and um, you know, uh, we need to leverage the duty-free benefits that we have, especially for products that are in our value chain uh, and we work on soy and maize and I think uh, that's something that we'll try and act on. My name is Justine Schaefer and I'm the third generation of Cape Cobra Leathercraft. We are a family business established in 1972 and we specialize in manufacturing exotic leather handbags and accessories, proudly made in Cape Town, South Africa. We are celebrating 50 years this year and we're really looking forward to the next 50 years. Um, I'm coming into the business with a new energy. We are expanding our own brand into the US market and we are looking to compete with um, international brands um, and show them that South African made products are just as good as they are in Italy and France. I would like to take this opportunity to really thank the USAID team. Um, you guys have done a phenomenal job um, so far and I think uh, it's, it's very sustainable what has been done. There's been a lot of technical assistance and support that we have definitely benefited from, um, like many others that you've supported. And uh, we're very grateful for the, for the support and uh, look forward to continued support. And, uh, um, and thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>